Hello, and welcome to the People's Mental Stimulus Update. And today's update is going to be a two-parter, actually. I'm going to do a food slash a short drink review at the end of my this part of the program. And we actually want to stick around for it. It's actually talking, it's, like, it's about junk food, okay? But I wanted to do it anyways because this junk food actually tastes really good, and you guys might want to try it. But besides that, this mental stimulus update is on the Republicans yet again. This is actually just from what I've been observing and from what I've heard around the streets. Okay, we're going to be talking about the um, George Floyd murder as well as the was it, was Dante. I think his name was Dante, I'm not sure. But the second one was their murder. I've talked to a few Republicans around here in Utah. One of them is actually my friend, and I'm ashamed of what he thinks. He says that whole George Floyd murder thing was George Floyd's fault because he was high on narcotics, and he was a violent person, and apparently he, the George Floyd's a very big person compared to the, the short little white scrawny cop that had his knee on his neck and murdered him. I do not actually agree with this topic. In fact, I've, a few Republicans I've talked to on the streets here also so agree about the same way that it was George Floyd's fault for the cop murdering him. I don't know where they, how it can be anyone's fault for being murdered. That's just wrong. But I mean, as have you seen on as you seen on the news, I mean, a lot of stuff's going down, and it's all taking place towards people of color. And I, I got to reiterate this because this is very important. If you actually look up black and white in the dictionary, you do not see, it does not say that their color is it. White is derived of, is basically all the colors in one, and black is derived of all color. <clears throat> in fact, black and white are considered shades, not colors. So basically, I'm a person of shade. I'm not a white person, I'm a person of shade. But that's besides the point. Um, but as you notice, a lot of stuff's going on against people of color. I mean, you saw about the military personnel, well, the lieutenant, should I say, from the military, that had expired tags and had a temporary license plate in his back window that was a bit too darkly tainted for the cops to see it, so it took four cop cars to basically point their guns and tasers at him and tell him to get the fuck out of the car. And... I don't know exactly what happened to that. I think he's actually suing the police department for that because that was actually uncalled for actions on their part to actually become that brutal towards him. And then on the um, what was it, the Dante one where the woman, where well, the female cop said that uh, she mistook her taser for a for her handgun. Well, we have a problem with that one too. Because most cops I've seen, they carry their gun on one side and their taser on the other side so they know where the gun both are. So they don't accidentally mistake them and pull out the pistol and cap someone like this cop did. Most people are saying that it was an accident. And yet you can see on the camera that she's flailing her gun about around her, around her partner in front of her that's trying to subdue this guy. And you actually... Don't think that she'd notice that her pistol is a not the taser she's trying to reach for. I mean, then I saw that video and I saw that gun feeling about from in her hand. I mean, I'd know for a fact that's not a gun because there's no way in hell that a taser looks anything like a pistol. Yes, I have looked at many pictures of tasers, and I'll grant you one of them sort of comes pretty damn close to looking like a pistol, but you can still tell it's a taser by the by the way it's shaped. And the basic look of it. I think they should make it so all cops, so they don't make this stupid dumbass mistake again, their tasers are colored yellow on the handles. So they know that, hey, wait, yellow is alive, black means dead. Black means the pistol, that is, not the person. Because I'm sure there's a lot of there's a lot of us other white shaded people out there that have been capped by cops for stupid reasons. I mean, her reason for shooting him with a gun when she knew it was a pistol, not a taser, is pathetic. Oh, I mistaked him. Yeah, bullshit. She made it, she, she knew it was a gun because you could see it in her body cam. She knew exactly what she was doing. 
She needs to face the, the crime, the charges for her crime. And as far as my Republican friends and other Republicans in Utah that say that it was George Floyd's fault for basically getting murdered, you guys are pretty fucked. So basically, this is basically the, the basic thought process of most Republicans. If you get shot, even if it's not your fault, it's your fault. That's pretty messed up, don't you think? But if I go on any further, like I said, please stick around for my food review. And I will be doing a food review of a Monster Energy drink as well as Jillium um, candy canes, three different flavors. And trust me, I mean, you actually want to stick around for that because I'll let you know which ones are actually really good flavors. And then plus also my backdrop will also change as well. So until next time, you guys have a great evening. Bye. Hello, I'm Russ. I'm the creator of this food review. I'm also the creator of RTD Inc. Russ's Reviews as well as TikTokin. There are many TikTokins out there. So it's sort of hard to find me, but the other two should be easy to find. But today we are doing a food review for Jillium candy canes. Trust me, I've actually tried these before. There's a place here called Cracker Barrel that actually sells them. And they sell like a multiple different flavors. They have like birthday cake, they have cotton candy, they have banana, which is really, really good. But I can't find banana online. I can only find it at Candy Barrel. So this, this review is about three different candy canes. All from Jillium. In fact, here I'll show you. I mean, we got that one. Yes, I got a lot. Got that one. Reach over here. And we got that one. 240 sticks. Now, what we got here is we got, if I'm guessing correctly, we got butterscotch. We should have root beer and then root beer bottom and cinnamon. I keep these boxes right here because I'm gonna do a smell test on them, so you could so I could tell you what they are. But first one up is butterscotch. I remember butterscotch when I was a kid. It was really good. I loved it. It was amazing. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break off a piece of it. See, a little piece. Yeah, I'm probably gonna flip, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spit out in the trash. So this is a, just a taste test to give you guys a slight idea of what it tastes like. There's actually a sweet flavor to it. Not that bad, actually. It's not really strong butterscotch flavors I remember from butterscotch candies. But it does taste really good. Mm, there's sort of butterscotch, but a whole lot there. I just want to keep sucking on it. It tastes so good, though. I love it. It's one of my favorite flavors, butterscotch. But you also enjoy the other, other ones they got, too, which are really good. So let's get rid of this butterscotch real quickly. Then up next is root beer. It says it right there. So let's break off a little piece. No smell yet. Ooh, that really tastes good. That's some root beer for you. Oh, yeah. Mm. So let's give you that little sneak peek of what it looks like inside the boxes here. That's your butterscotch. 80 sticks. That's a lot of butterscotch. Then the one I'm, I'm sucking on right now is root beer. And you can see 80 sticks. That's a lot of root beer. I'll tell you this, so when I took the lid off this root beer, I could actually smell it. It smells so good. 
It smelled like I was drinking root beer from my nose. <laughs> it doesn't look that good. And then, that's why I keep this in my mouth. God, I love root beer. It tastes so good. I don't know if it comes from a can or a candy cane, right? This is good stuff, man. You should try it. They just sell online at gilliam.com. They will redirect you to Amazon to buy it. But still, it's worth the money if you have it. I got this when I got my stimulus check because, you know, I'm addicted to candy canes. I love the damn things, right? But look at this one. Wow, that just keeps you salivating right there, doesn't it? And cinnamon. Tastes really sweet. I like the stab to the top because it just saves the rest of it, you know, so it just folds over. Oh, wow. Oh yeah. And I love cinnamon too. Cinnamon is actually good for you. It helps stimulate your pancreas to create insulin, so you don't have to. So you have less chance of being diabetic. <clears throat> and if you are diabetic, cinnamon will also help you out there that way as well. So you might have to take less insulin. Unless you're like a really bad di diabetic, then mushroom or something would help you out. But still, it tastes good. Mm. I just love it. I have all three flavors. Cinnamon is my first flavor that I love. Rupert comes in second. And butterscotch comes in third. I mean, actually, there's other flavors. There's a place called Candy Barrel by where I live. I might have to stop there and... Get a few flavors there and do another review on the other flavors that you know what they taste like. But cinnamon definitely stays in my mouth for now. But like I said, this is a food review to let you know about Jillian candy canes. Oh, and before I forget, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cinnamon for you. Doesn't want to stay in the box. Until then, you guys have a great evening. Bye. Yeah. I got this feeling inside my bones. You win the club, this to party I'm there. I get paid a fee. It's Friday night, and I won't be long till I hit the dance floor. Hit the dance floor. I'm living out in L.